Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. McCain uses his dying breaths to make one final disgusting announcement. As we receive various reports that John McCain's health is failing and he is succumbing to the dreaded disease that is afflicting him, he starts to realize the end is probably near but he can't help but still take one last bite at President Trump. McCain stepped forth yesterday to once again criticize President Trump's attitude during the North Atlantic Treaty Organization summit, calling it disappointing while reaffirming that it does not represent the United States. Here is more on McCain's comments via the political voice. Senator John McCain stepped forth this Thursday to criticize President Trump's attitude during the North Atlantic Treaty Organization summit, labeling it disappointing while reaffirming that it does not represent the United States. There is little use in parsing the president's misstatements and bluster, except to say that they are the words of one man. Americans, and their Congress, still believe in the transatlantic alliance and NATO, and it is clear that our allies still believe in us as well, McCain said in a statement. He continued on to say that Trump's performance in Brussels was disappointing, yet ultimately unsurprising. Trump spurned backlash amongst European allies for his aggressive attitude during the summit, including his heated exchange with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Trump used the summit to reinstate his calls for allies to increase their defense spending. McCain has been on leave from Washington due to his battle with brain CR. However, Congress fired shots at Trump's rhetoric this week, with the House pushing through a resolution supporting NATO and the Senate using a procedural vote to signal its support. The NATO summit comes on the heels of a private meeting between Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. McCain continued on to say this Thursday that Trump must reverse his disturbing tendency to show America's adversaries the deference and esteem that should placed upon our longtime allies while pointing out that the world will be watching the controversial meeting, he called upon Trump to be strong and tough against Putin. It is up to President Trump to hold Putin accountable for his actions during the meeting in Helsinki. Failure to do so would be a serious indictment of his stewardship of American leadership in the world, he said. Now keep in mind that this is the same McCain who used his status as a POW in Vietnam to garner unwavering support for his 30-year-plus political career. And who effectively ended up giving us Obamacare forever even though he furiously campaigned against it just admitted to once again being a traitor to his own party and the American people. President Trump has in no way ever done anything that has affected McCain's life in any way. But McCain, when he cast the deciding vote to stop the repeal of Obamacare he sealed the fate of all of us common folk who were priced out of the health insurance market. And that's something which most of us affected will not be able to forgive him for. Here is more on Senator McCain's treasonous behavior towards our president and his own party via the Daily Beast. In his new book, Senator John McCain, R. Oz, defends his decision to give a controversial dossier about President Trump to former FBI Chief James Comey. I agreed to receive a copy of what is now referred to as the dossier, McCain writes in the upcoming book, titled The Restless Wave, referencing information compiled by former British intelligence officer Christopher Steele. I reviewed its contents. The allegations were disturbing, but I had no idea which if any were true. I could not independently verify any of it, and so I did what any American who cares about our nation's security should have done. The Daily Beast obtained an advance copy of the book, due out May 22. McCain writes that in November 2016, he spoke with Sir Andrew Wood, a former British diplomat, at the Halifax International Security Forum. Wood alerted him to Steele's work after which, David Kramer, senior director for human rights and human freedoms at the McCain Institute, traveled to London to meet with Steele. Prior to this, as The Washington Post reported, Steele had already met with American officials in Rome to discuss his findings. The Arizona Republican had previously issued a statement in January of 2017 about passing over sensitive information to Comey. McCain recounts how he put the dossier in a safe in his office and called Comey's office to request a meeting, I went to see him at his earliest convenience, handed him the dossier, explained how it had come into my possession. I said I didn't know what to make of it, and I trusted the FBI would examine it carefully and investigate its claims. With that, I thanked the director and left. The entire meeting had probably not lasted longer than 10 minutes. I did what duty demanded I do, McCain concludes. John McCain could have been a great senator if he would have just been honest with himself and the rest of us and just changed his political party to Democrat. After all, he spent the majority of his political career gloating about how he would reach across the aisle. If he would have just been a Democrat from day one, he would not have had to strain his back to reach anywhere and he would have been a hero to the left. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like 
and subscribe. Thank you.